Today marks the 236th day since the Senate passed an inclusive, bipartisan Violence Against Women Act. Women and men across the country are waiting. I was on the front lines as VAWA was first passed, as, and I was the prosecutor who was trying to begin a domestic violence unit in Kansas City. We were able to do that because of VAWA, because of these important funds and this important support. I have seen this program save lives. We cannot fool around with this. This cannot be a partisan football. And by the way, it never has been. Are you ready for this? The last two times this bill was authorized, do you know what the vote was? 981 to 5. 981 to 5. The last two authorizations. Not one vote against it in the Senate the last two times it was authorized. And here we are, hundreds of days have passed since we sent this bill to the House of Representatives. And I want to close with this and, and turn the po podium over to my great colleagues. If the NRA is serious about gun violence in this country, if they care about gun violence in this country, Everyone walks around here, too many, worried about their NRA score. They scored Son of Sotomayor's nomination. They scored whether or not the Attorney General was held in contempt. I have two words for the NRA. Score this. We took it to the Senate floor. We got 68 votes for the Senate VAWA bill, including every single woman, Democrat and Republican, in the United States Senate. That mm. is 17 women every single one of them voted for this bill. Why did they vote for this bill? Because they understand uh, that one out of four women in this country have been victims of domestic abuse or some kind of violence. This is one critical piece of it. This is the point when instead of going to partisan corners, the House of Representatives ought to be joining together in a voice vote to pass a bill that not only supports all victims of domestic violence, women, children, but the police officers involved.